Hi guys, Bill from Bonsai Keto here. Just wanted to share with you what I'm eating in a day. And uh, actually, recently, in the last two weeks or so, things have changed a little bit on what I'm eating in a day, uh, mainly due to our little chuffle maker. That thing is just so much fun. It's like the adult version of an Easy Bake Oven. It's so much fun to play with and experiment with. And that's what Stacy and I are all about. We're all about trying different things and experimenting different things with our foods. Um, so I started out for my day by making a little bit of a chaffle breakfast waffle type of thing. I used an egg. I used a half a cup of cheddar cheese. I put some diced ham. I put some green pepper, some red pepper, and some bacon bits into it. I wanted to give it a little bit of substance and make it a little more filling for the morning to get me going for the day. I do a 16-8 window generally on intermittent fasting. So I'll start that somewhere around 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning, and then I'll cut off at 5, 6 o'clock uh, that day generally. And uh, it was very good. It was very filling. Uh, those two truffles made up, you know, and I put up all the stuff here on the side here for the car manager and everything. Um, that was wonderful. With that, I also have my morning coffee. I use typically a McCafe or a Donut House coffee, a medium roast, and I put in usually 10 to 12 drops of monk fruit drops, and then I also use half and half, just a splash of that. Um, I tend to, I've tried so many different um, coffee additives and stuff. What works for me most is just the monk fruit drops. They're just simple. I love them. I grab my Amazon and go at it. Uh, keep them in the fridge. Uh, that's the recommendation, I guess, for storage or whatever. But um, anyway, so that was my, my breakfast. What I didn't picture in the breakfast or put in here was my medicine and water. We have an RO system here at home and I have a 18 ounce glass that I fill up almost to the top, so about 16 ounces. I fill that up during the day anywhere from four to six times a day and uh, this particular day on Wednesday I had five glasses of full glasses of water. Um, but I had morning medicines and my water. So then as of the day went on and I had my lunch, I had a half a pickle and I had a chicken thigh with my spice rub on it. If you hadn't seen that video, you can check it out in the link above. Um, very, very tasty. I did not put any kind of a glaze on it this time. Sometimes I use a barbecue glaze or honey mustard glaze from G. Hughes, the sugar-free stuff. Just didn't have it on there this time. It was just the rub. Very, very tasty. Love, love, love that. Uh, and then I also had five ounces of Costco broccoli with a little bit of butter, a little bit of salt. Mix that up. Yum, yum, yum. Good, good, good. Uh, let's see. Then for my dinner, I was trying to replicate uh, the McGriddle from McDonald's. A breakfast sandwich kind of breakfast for dinner type of thing so uh, I got the idea from Greg and Stacy over at Keizu Keto Greg had made one on one of his videos which I'll link above uh, but I love McGriddles I used to eat them all the time I'd hate to see the the breakdown of what's in the McGriddle but uh yeah I'm not doing McGriddles anymore so uh, it, it was very intriguing to me to want to try that so what I did was I used my cheese and I used my egg, just like a regular old chaffle. I uh, added some salt and pepper in there, and I added some uh, maple syrup to give it that little sweet taste like a McGriddle has. Um, did a sausage patty. I did two pieces of bacon. Uh, and then I actually made one more egg, and I folded it over and put it on the sandwich just to give it that extra substantial, you know, dinner type of filling type of thing. That worked out really well. It tasted wonderful. I loved it, loved it, loved it. I will definitely be making it again. Uh, I appreciate the input and the suggestion there, Greg. Uh, it was really good. And uh, my little snack for the day was at Kroger, I buy these little salami coins, I call them, but they're just salami slices. They're so tasty. Uh, I put eight of those on a plate and I take two pieces of Swiss cheese and I fold those into four. So I have eight pieces of Swiss. And I match those up, and then that's my little snack. And uh, those will be right here on the side of my card manager. It'll show my little snack. And uh, where do I end up for the day? Let me get my cheat sheet. Let's see. 
<clears throat> I was at 14 net carbs out of 21 total carbs. Uh, five of that was fiber, obviously, probably the broccoli. Um, didn't really look too deep into all that, but it's probably just the broccoli. 111 fats, 105 protein, and 1501 calories. Sometimes that varies as low as 12, 1300, and sometimes it's as high as 1900. Uh, basically, I just put all my info into uh, Carb Manager, chose the keto option, and I use the free version. I don't pay for it or anything. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, it gives me, you know, a choice of how much deficit do you want. And I think I chose the highest deficit. So um, puts me in at like 2,000 calories, something like that for the day. Uh, I generally don't hit that, but I'm, you know, somewhere in that, like today, 1,500. Somewhere in that range, give or take a little. But uh, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I would love to hear guys' input in the comment area below. Um, I also want to encourage Stacy to do a day of eating now because her eating has changed a little bit. She's um, now she's kind of at the weight that she wants to be at. She's very comfortable. She's gosh lost close to 50 pounds. I think she's in the 130 range right now. And uh, you know she's doing kind of more of a maintenance thing, but she's still of course watching what she's eating and eating much better than she ever used to. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see her do a chaffle video uh, or at least a video of her eating which contains a lot of chaffles. I'm surprised we haven't bought a second one yet that she doesn't take with her to work or something, but I'm sure she'll ask for that soon. <laughs> I'll just order another one up on Amazon. But uh, yeah, so let's encourage Stacy down below too in the comments. Hey Stacy, we want to see what you're eating these days. Uh, but she's doing great. She's doing fantastic. In fact, uh, if you check in with us tomorrow on Saturday, it will be our nine month update for keto. We'll have our pictures or our BMIs, our measurements, um, where we weigh in, which we'll know tomorrow morning. So um, yeah, check in with us and hopefully things are going well. Like I said, I am intermittent fasting 16 eights. Uh, I tend to try one day a week, at least a 24 to 30 hour fast. This week I was not able to do that, just a very busy week. Um, but I'll be getting back into that next week. So um, thank you again for stopping in, checking in and seeing what I'm eating. I'm real curious to see what your opinions are below. What are you guys eating these days, um, good, bad, or otherwise? And uh, I hope everybody just sticks with their keto and, you know, everybody's doing well. So uh, we'll talk to you soon, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.